All right, so welcome to this unboxing video of the 16 inch MacBook Pro Space Gray. This will probably be my last computer with the Intel chip because as you probably know, uh, Apple is going to be introducing the Apple Silicon ARM chip pretty soon, probably in October with uh, some of the computers arriving in December or uh, maybe the beginning of 2021. In any case, let's take a look at the specifications before we start unboxing. So this is pretty much a 16 inch MacBook Pro with all the specs maxed up to the top. So um, the specs in question are a 2.4 gigahertz, eight core ninth generation Intel Core, 9, uh, Core i9 processor with a turbo boost up to five gigahertz, 64 gigabytes, uh, 2666 MHz DDR4 memory, ADM Radeon Pro 5600M with 8GB of HBM2 memory, 8TB uh, of SSD storage, so that is a lot of storage and it's quite expensive, but if storage is everything for doing video and so forth and for storing large files, this really is a must, but it's not for everybody. Uh, we also have a 16-inch Retina display with True Tone, four Thunderbolt 3 ports, touch bar and touch ID, uh, backlit magic keyboard, US English, and we have the accessory kit. So let's open this thing. So here's the box, it came from DHL. Uh, it's actually already open, so I'll just uh, open this. There we go, MacBook Pro. I'll have to turn it around. No, you know what, it doesn't matter. Whoops, uh, all right, hang on. I know I can't get this all in the frame. I can't get this all in the shot, but there you go. That is the box with the MacBook Pro. So there's, uh, there it is, MacBook Pro. And uh, if we take a closer look, well, as a matter of fact, let's take a look at the back. So you can see the specifications. If I can just bring this into focus a bit, you can see, there you go. So MacBook Pro 16 inch and uh, all the specifications. Oh yes, if you have a look over here, you can see everything has been maxed to the top. All right, so without further ado, if I could bring the focus back, let's uh, open this thing. We might not need the box cutter, so let's just... My previous MacBook Pro was bought in 2016, it was the first MacBook with the touch bar. And this is the first, I believe it's the first 16 inch MacBook Pro. As far as I know, they have since added another display card option. So I got that one. And that's the, what's it called? The AD, AMD Radeon Pro 5600M. Yeah, okay. Anyway, let's open this. Oh. Right, let's open this. Ooh, look at that. That's good. Right, so there's our MacBook. And uh, let's get it out the box. Ooh, okay, so there's our MacBook. In a few moments, I will get the old MacBook Pro and I'll put them side by side, just so you can have a little comparison about size and whatnot, but we'll get to that later. So let's see. So this is a charging cable. USB Type-C to USB Type-C. I believe this one has a more powerful charger, 96 watts instead of the 80-something uh, watt charger for the previous uh, MacBook Pro. So we'll put that there. Let's go through this box. Okay, so I'm assuming these are instructions. Yep, the usual stuff. Yeah, I, um, I don't read these very often. I usually just toss them aside. Yeah. Okay, what else have we got? Ooh, what's this? Uh, Apple Malaysia service card. Ah, yes, there's our charger. Okay, so it's a, this is a 96 watt charger. So I'll just, let's just put that down for a second. Just, yeah, and. Uh, all right, because we're in Hong Kong, we use the UK plug. Three prongs, square prongs, just like this. And just jam it in like that. 
I'll plug this up later, I guess. So let's, uh, might just connect it for uh, intents and purposes like that. Um, I'll put this aside just for now. Maybe we'll uh, just put it there. And I don't think there's anything else in the box. That's pretty much it. So I'm gonna put this aside uh, to my right. And uh, there is the 16 inch MacBook Pro. We'll open this up in just a moment, but for intents and purposes, I'm going to side by side put you, uh, put the, uh, this is the 15 inch MacBook Pro. It does have a cover on it, so uh, it didn't come uh, with a black cover, but you can tell it's very, even with the cover, it's just slightly smaller than the 16 inch uh, MacBook Pro. Okay, you can sort of see. Okay, and if we turn it to the bottom bit, this is with the cover, of course. Yeah, it's just a little bit bigger, of course. All right, let's take the uh, protective plastic off. All right. So, uh, there we go. I'm going to put this plastic aside and we open it up. Oh, okay. I need to just adjust the uh, camera just a bit. There we go. Now we can see it. There we go. Now it's screens turned on. We need to take off the protective layer and it's turning on by itself. Just like that. And while we're at it, why don't we just put it side by side with the other MacBook? with the protective case. So, okay, we'll get the set up in just a moment, but if we uh, take the other MacBook, we take the other MacBook and just open the lid. To use English as the main language, press the return key. See? Yeah, I think one subtle difference you can see with the keyboard uh, is that the uh, left and right buttons are slightly smaller than the uh, and the one with the butterfly mechanism. See, this is a, a square and that's like a rectangle. And um, I'll, let me test the key. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna take off this cover. There's actually a cover on it. So let me just, if I press say the letter A, yeah, this one feels a little more solid and it, it actually feels a bit more pleasant on my finger compared to the butterfly mechanism, which did feel a bit tacky. So I'm glad they got rid of the butterfly mechanism because for me, I just don't think it was a good idea. So well done for, uh, to this keyboard. Uh, they do look similar, but I think once you hit the key, you can tell the difference with your finger. Hmm. Okay, let's set this baby up. So here we go. I'm going to plug the AC adapter into the wall. You can't see it, but I'm going to plug the other end into one of the four ports on the side, like that. There we go. Now it's charging. So. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, we're going to set this thing up. So let's set up. So we'll say, we'll go with English. Yep, that's fine. We're going to choose our location. All right, let me just. Mac OS contains a built in screen reader called VoiceOver. I love that voice. If you know how to use VoiceOver, <laughs> press the command key while you press Touch ID three times at the right end of the touch bar to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac. Press the escape key. Yeah, as if I can't read, not to be blunt. Okay, so we're in Hong Kong, so I'm gonna choose Hong Kong. This is why I film in 4K, so it's easier to see the screen when you watch the video. All right, um, yep, that's fine. Select your Wi-Fi network, yep, we'll do that. Um, okay, uh, just give us a moment. connecting. Oh yeah, something I have noticed. I'm sorry, I have to bring out the 15-inch uh, MacBook. I know I keep comparing them, but uh, you'll notice the escape key. It's got a physical escape key, and this one doesn't. This one, it's actually on the touch bar, and this one, they've brought back the physical escape key, and I think that's a good thing. I really prefer the physical escape key. It just, 
I'm so used to pressing escape and I just like the uh, feeling of touching an actual button rather than a, uh, a bitmap on a screen, if you know what I mean. Okay, so uh, don't transfer any information. All right, so I need to fill out all the Apple ID stuff. Okay, uh, just fill this all out. Okay, all right, uh, just wait a moment. So it's authenticating to make sure that uh, I am the actual owner of the Apple ID. Okay, terms and conditions, the usual stuff. Yep, I agree. And uh, yep, there's my name, there's my account name. Uh, do you wish to use Find My Apple device? Yes, I do. This is a portable computer and it is prone to getting lost. So yes, I'm okay with that. It's really useful because I've, I've actually misplaced a couple of phones and I tell you that that Apple Find My Phone is such a lifesaver. You wouldn't believe it. Okay. Yep, okay. I do have other accounts, but I'll set them up later. Uh, it will not be in this video. Yep, that's fine. Siri, that's fine. Ask Siri in English. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do Siri later. I'll do it later. So. The Siri button is this one here. You can also use your uh, thumb print. Uh, yeah. Okay. The iCloud's good for photos and so forth. It's really great. You can take a photo with your phone and it pushes it to all your devices, including your Macs and your iPads and stuff. It's really useful. Okay, we don't need disk encryption. Well, I don't need it anyway. All right, touch ID, yep, very simple. Okay, all you have to do, if I could just, I need to get the focus back again. All right, so all you have to do, very simple, just get your finger, just place it there. Just like if you, um, if you have the old iPhone with the touch ID button, or the old iPad with the touch ID button, it's pretty much the same thing. So you just have to keep tapping and tapping until you get it right. The algorithm will sort it all out machine learning and so forth. All right, Apple Pay. I don't think I'm gonna use my credit cards with this computer, but, oh dear, no. No, it's too cumbersome to do it on this video. Security purposes. All right, um, I'm quite happy with the light. You can have light, dark, and auto. Um, yep. I just want to see Mac OS. <laughs> there we go. Okay, great. So let's, let's now let's just go to about. So we got Mac OS Catalina. Um, yeah, ten point uh, sixteen. Sorry, ten point five point five. Yep, you can see all the specs. Right, it's all there. Oh. Let's just go to system preferences. We go to accessibility, go to zoom. Uh, whoops, go back again. Go to zoom, keyboard shortcuts. You'll see what I'm gonna do in a moment. I do this with all my Macs, it's so useful. So if you can't read that from where you are, what I do is I hold control and I do this and now I can zoom in and you can see far better. This is good if you're doing a presentation and you want, uh, you want your students or your audience to see the screen better, so you can focus on certain parts. So yeah, there you go, there are the specs. Okay, all there. 64 gigs memory, uh, uh, Intel graphics. Uh, we also have the AMD graphics as well. Okay, and this is from 2019. Oh, and also another thing as well. Okay, if we turn on the hard disks, so just to make sure we know how much hard drive is on this thing. So if we just right click and go to get info. Right, there is the info for the hard drive. So it's an eight terabyte hard drive and it's SSD as well. So it's gonna be blazing fast. All right, and that 
is the video. So I'm going to be spending a bit of time sorting this out. I, uh, this is a very basic unboxing video. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon and take care. Goodbye.